We're going to go ahead and get started here. So we're just going to take a wide second. You can straddle your mat, or you're just going to go ahead and take your external rotation, and we're going to lower down. So almost like you're trying, you're holding a brick between your hands, and you're trying to touch down to the ground. So inhale through the nose, exhale through the mat. We're starting to just kind of ease into this, using our Pilates breathing. So we inhale, we breathe through the ribcage, we exhale, cinch the waist, belly button towards spine. So just lowering and lifting here, maybe going a little bit slower if you need it. Maybe not going as deep. So our last two here, final one. And now from here, we're gonna go ahead, bring the toes facing forward, just fold down, take it to a little bit of a stretch. Bring out one foot and then the other. So a little bit of movement, just kind of swaying from side to side, warming up, stretching out those hamstrings. And you are straddling your mat here. So breathing. And now we're gonna bring our hands right into center. Take it to a high plank. We're gonna hold our plank here, take it up to a down dog. So just kind of Floating out here, down dog, high plank. So inhale, exhale. Just moving back and forth at your pace. Last two here. Last one. Soften in the knees. We walk it all the way back and rise up to the top. So coming right up to the top, bring our arms straight up in the air. And we're going to go ahead and just kind of rotate this crunch. Elbows are coming down towards the side. So a little oblique crunch here. Inhale, exhale. So just alternating legs here. Firing up in those obliques. So breathing through these. Alternating from side to side. So trying to get that heart rate a little bit up. Creating a little bit of heat in the body. You got your side to side crunch. So we don't have our hand weights in hand yet. So we're coming into one more on each. And now from here, arms go out in front. You're taking it to a deep squat. Lift right back up with a wide stance. Deep squat, rise right back up. Pull the abdominals in, keeping the arms out of it. So the challenge is the upright arms though. Hey Donna. So breathe in through these. So just tuning in, we don't have hand weights yet, but we will need them a little bit later for our workout. And they're, of course, optional. So last two here. Last one, you're gonna hold this. Take the arms in opposition. Just press the hand back. Just press back. So inhale the nose, exhale the mouth. You got this straight press back here. And then we switch. So taking it to the other direction, the one arm's reaching while the other one's pressing back behind you, firing up through the triceps. Your modified position, you're standing tall instead. So breathing through them. Long inhales, long exhales. Last three, last two, final one. Rising up to the top. We're gonna take you to a little bit of lateral and we're gonna bring our hands to press to our prayer hands and we're just going into a side lunge Walk it right back in. So getting our side body a little bit here, stepping out, and bringing it right back in. Really active with the feet. So getting your footwork in here, landing toe ball heel, leaving the floor first with the heel, pad, toe. So breathe through these. Last two here. Final one. And we bring it right back into center. We have the same movement going on to the other side. Step it out. You just have prayer hands. No weights yet. So breathing through them. Still staying relatively upright. We got our Pilates breathing going on. Our abs are engaged. We're moving from our center. So the good thing about standing Pilates or standing work, it really allows you to move the way you would move when you're walking. So you're a little bit more tuned. Maybe if you're going for a walk in your neighborhood or standing on a grocery line, whatever it is, you're more in tune to that position when you start doing workouts standing as well. So making sure you're engaging those abdominals and then start practicing tonight when you go to that grocery store or go for a walk. All right, so we hold here in center, arms go straight over the head. We prance, so we're dropping down one heel and then the other. If you're adding on, hands come down to your shoulder height, and they stop right there. So just the same way if you were on the reformer, trying to stay with the alignment, and then your feet 
feet as well. You're trying to not coordinate. You're going toe ball heel, just marching it out. Inhale, exhales. Breathe through these. We're active. Inhale, exhale. Last three. Last two. Final one, we let it go. So we're going to go ahead and take our first round of hand weights. So your choice, maybe light to medium. Take the right leg out in front. We're going for some bicep curls. So curl it in, curl it out. Toe is down on the ground. Your option here to progress is tap the foot and lift it up with your bicep curl. So tapping that foot to the ground and lifting right back up with that bicep curl. So breathing through these, you tap down and then lifting right back up. So long inhale, long exhale, curling it in, keep them long, keep them slow so that you don't need to migrate to one side or the other. You got these. Last one here, and we switch. So same thing, going for that time on the other side. You got a bicep curl. Once you feel well balanced, you're progressing with that tap. So tap, lowering and lifting with that control. Keep the elbows glued by your side. It'll be a little bit better for that bicep curl. Fire it up. Doesn't have to be big at all. So breathe through them. You got these. Tapping down and lifting right back up. And we'll go ahead and let it go. So from here, the next one, take it to a wider stance. You're gonna reach and reach. Every time you reach, you're gonna lift that knee up and lift that knee up, while the other hand is gonna stay glued right by your side. So you got this cross punch with the other side of the body lifting. It's a little bit of a challenge to try to not lean or migrate. You got these, I'm trying to face that clock a little bit. So the one hand is right by your side. So the other arm still is working. You're leveling yourself out. You're trying to not lean or migrate here. You got these. So if these are making you as warm as they are me. Almost there. Our last eight seconds, you got it. Hang tough. Use the breath. Exhale on the exertion and bring it back in. So quick breather, quick reset. So just take a couple more seconds here and get ready to set for the other side. So we're gonna go ahead, same thing. You're gonna punch and you're gonna lift the leg up if that works. If not, you're just punching. So completely optional here. But otherwise, you lift it up. Maybe this is your challenging side. And your modified version, so you don't have to hold on to anything since we have hand weights. It's just keep the leg out of it and get the arm work out. Or hands to your hips, and maybe you're just lifting that hot for a high knee leg. Breathe through them. You got these. Stay strong. Trying to not lean or migrate. We're not leaning back. We're not leaning forward. We're not leaning from side to side. You got this, last four seconds, stay with me. And go ahead, legs go down. You're just taking it for a few seconds here. Side to side, use your weights, just getting a little side to side crunch here. Reach down, reach down. So inhales and exhales. And now from here, we have a square U. We take our, come back to our second position like your former legs, you're going down, lift right back up. Keep the elbows back the whole time, engage through those abdominals, abs are in. Wrists directly over the elbow, elbow in line with the shoulders. So you're trying to have that level position here. We're not letting our elbows drag or sag here. Keep them lifted, that's where the work will be at. If your weights are too heavy, you're gonna let them go or switch out your hand weights. Almost there, we got 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Pull those abs in, move from the center. You got these. And go ahead and let it go. So hands come down by your side. We're just gonna run it out a little bit of prance. Keep those hands by your side. So we're gonna keep moving, but just give ourselves a little bit of a breather. So keep moving. You got these. The next one, you're gonna stay in your parallel. Come back to that same arm position, 
just lift one arm up, lift the other arm up. So you got this one arm press. We're upright. You don't even have to be in a squat here. Press up with one arm. Press up with the other arm. Not liking singles. Do it with doubles. Don't like the arm movement? Take it to squats instead. So pull those abs in. Anytime we do something with the hand weights that doesn't feel okay to you, just switch your arm position and do something that does feel right with the hand weights. Our last five here. So last five seconds, almost there. And then we come into a little bit of a break. Hands go by your side. You got this straight press back. Lift up in the heels, straight press back. So breathing through them, we're staying here for the full minute on these. So this should feel like a break, but it's a balance challenge. Taking the hands way back, so we've got 45 more seconds here. We did this for a full minute. Pull those abs in, straight press back. So breathing through these, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. You got this straight press back. You're in your releve, high pair of heels, abs are engaged. Roll those shoulders back. So almost like between your shoulder blades, it should feel like you're trying to squeeze a pencil. That's how much you're trying to really stay active there. So a little bit for the posture here. Pull those abs in, trying to not be in an uh, arch position or tucking. Breathe through these. You got them, almost there. And then go ahead and let it go. So we're just gonna switch our arms a little curl here for 15 seconds just for our break before we set up for our next one. So lifting up one arm and then the other, inhale, exhale. Your next one, lift one leg up to tabletop here, and now arms come out in front. You got a row with your tabletop. Does it feel okay? Keep the toe on the ground instead if you can offset your position, or you just stay with your straight legs. If the hand weights are too much, you're going to ditch them and get a lighter set if you have, or maybe no weights at all. So pull those abs in. You got these. Straight press back. Rowing it out. We only have 10 more seconds. We have a 15 second break in between, and then we go to the other leg on the other side. So breathing through these. You got this. And go ahead and let go. So just kind of shake it out. Don't forget which leg you're on. So for me, I'm lifting my right leg next. We got five seconds. Just run it out. And you got it. So we're back at it. So we lift our legs to tabletop. We lift our arms up. We have a second set of rows here. So second set. Treat this like your Pilates chair and your leg is in that nice tabletop position. We row it out. So inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. So really great way to work the body with weights, not get bored. You get to do something a little bit different. You can do these at home. Even if you only have five, 10 minutes, great way to stay in it a little bit longer when you do one leg at a time. Make sure you have to take a double set. Pull those abs in, we're almost there. Go ahead and let it go. So feet come down, just kind of shake that out. Maybe a little side bends again, firing up in those obliques before we come into our next one. So our next one, we're gonna set up. The leg comes back behind you this time, and now arms out in front, palms up, you got server tread. So I don't have a mirror in here, but I'm doing my best to keep my knee in line with me. And then hard flex in the back foot, heel in line with that knee, and now press from here. So breathe through them. You got a little server tray. So inhale through the nose, exhale the mouth. So the great thing about keeping your leg in tabletop like this is you're still getting a lot of that position that we need for Pilates. We have to keep our abs engaged. We're getting that feedback. We know when we're not standing in our vertical neutral because it'll be really hard to balance. So you're getting that feedback from this standing position and switch. So we got the same thing on the other side. You got a quick 10 second break though. So take it where you need to. Maybe shake out that tension. And then we set up. So our setup on the other side. We have knee in line with knee. We take it out. And now you have your service tray. 
So serve a tray. You got these. So breathing through them. Pull those abdominals in, trying to figure out where I'm going to stand for you guys. So bring, pulling those abs in. You got a little serve a tray here. This is our last one with our balance challenge standing here. So breathing through them. The next move, if you have a heavier weight, you're going to do that, or maybe double up the weights if you prefer. You can, if, as long as they're not canned goods, maybe you can hold two at once. This is where we finish, guys. You got eight seconds. Stay strong. You got these. And go ahead and let it go. So we're just going to take a spine stretch forward. Let our weights go down for a set for our 15 second break. Sway the hips from side to side. And then we're going to be coming into that one arm movement. So just kind of going through it. You're going to squat down, bring that arm up. So it's going to be a lot because we're doing this for two rounds. So maybe just stick with the one weight. If you want it heavier, double up the weights. So squatting down, make sure when you slide down, you're like sliding down a wall so that you don't arch, you don't tuck, you stay in neutral, protect that back. Any low back issues and you're not confident in this move, soft micro bend in the knees and release and stand. So lower it down, otherwise if you're going for it, this is our last 10 seconds. Every time we rise up, fire up those inner thighs, pull up the pelvic floor, cinch the waist, keep the rib cage closed. Push the shoulder down. All right, quick shake out. So in center, just 10 seconds here. Switch that direction, shake it out. And go ahead, we set up for the other side. Other hand comes right to the hip. We squat, we lift. So I love these. These are called Statue of Liberties. Love the name. Oh yeah, press up. So about strong, fierce women, right? <laughs> Shrek press up. So deep inhale, deep exhale. You got these. Squat down, rise up. Press up. You know you're getting more now. I just told you what they're called, right? You like that. Push the shoulders down away from the ears. Pull those abs in. Almost there. Hang tough. Our last second. Go ahead and let it go. So our one in the middle. Stand tall, just lower in the feet arms. Shake out the tension. You only have that one hand weight. We're feeling pretty strong, and it's two. And our next move, we're gonna take it here. So hold that one hand weight. You're gonna bring it in, bring it out. So try and soften up that front knee. And now drive it in, try it out. Inhale, exhale. Not feeling these? Keep the hands right by your side. Hold them onto the wall. Ditch the weight. So, so many ways you can modify it here. Maybe you're just doing arms. Maybe feet are power up. So, take the one that works for you. You got these. Almost there. Can do anything for 10 seconds, right? Stay with me. Feeling a little sweaty. We're almost halfway through our workout. And let it go. So quick shake out, run it out. Keep the hand laying out in front. And just drop down one heel and the other. Lots of prancing today. So it's no plyometric, but it's a great way to keep you moving and give your body a little bit of a break that it needs. And we'll go ahead and set up. Take it back. Front line, so soften up in that front knee. Arms out. You got that crunch. So really not important to do these super fast. More important to be able to still stabilize in that pelvis so we can move Pilates stuff. Pull the abs in. And then of course, if you're looking for a little more cardio, feel free to pick it up and make sure you got that form and you're moving from your center. The abs are engaged. You don't feel your low back. You're working for you. Something that feels okay. You got these. Stay with me. Last five seconds. Go ahead, hands come back behind you. Lift up to your high heels, straight press back. Roll those shoulders back, pull those abdominals in. High heels, just seven more seconds of these. And go ahead and grab both weights. Hands go over the head. You 
you've got your overhead press. Let's come to a Pilates V. So heels are now connected, toes are fist distance apart, you're reaching lengthening. If you can add on, lift those heels slightly off the floor, it doesn't have to be high, just something that's going to make you tune into a little more core. Pull those abs in, push the shoulders down, press up, widths are too much, let them go. Keep pulling those abs in. So making sure you're really firing up those inner thighs, pull up the pelvic floor, cinch the waist. Fire up and even your glutes, that's going to help you find this stillness here that we need. And go ahead and spring those heels right back down. Our last one, we got upright rows. Shake it out. We're going for the full minute though for these. Since they're a little bit lighter and we're just in a parallel position, they shouldn't be too tough. So breathe through them. Hands come right up. So upright row. Hands come right up to the chest without the shoulders rising here. Keep pulling those abdominals in. You got these. Elbows go wide. Chest is open. We've got 25 more seconds here. Hang on. 25 more seconds. Breathe through them. We're going to shake this one out when we're done with these upright rows with a little bit of a deadlift in front, and then we're going to be heading to our mat. So we are about halfway through. Our standing portion is pretty much almost over. All right, so from here, we're going to go ahead and step out. We're going to go ahead and lift right back up. So step down, allow lean forward, rise back, right back up. Pull those abs in. We've got 30 seconds of these on each side. So breathe through them. Pull those abs in. 15 more seconds here. So try to just not lock out in that supporting knee. These are challenging after your body's kind of shaking a little bit and fatigued, but they're also a nice little stretch. We switch sides, so same thing on the other side. Take that leg back, you got the same thing. Pull those abdominals in. First one of those, a tough one. You know when we're not pulling our abs in, I just felt it myself on myself. So make sure that belly button's towards your spine. You're leaning forward, focus on you. Breathe through them. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let our hand weights go to the floor. We are gonna come back to them, so maybe keep them a little bit closer, but I'm gonna be going for maybe a little bit lighter ones. You're gonna come to the top of your mat here. So top of your mat. We're gonna go ahead and take our arms out really wide are really high here. Pull those abs in. We're coming down to a squat. You're coming down so slow. Pull those abs in. Not for you. Come down any way that works for you. Hold here. Hold teaser. Press those heels down. Hold teaser. Press those heels down. Hold your teaser. You got these. Keep pulling those abdominals in. Hang tough. Breathe through them. Heels touch down. Feet rise up. Extension. Last three seconds. Stay with me. Go ahead and let it go. So we're going to come down bone by bone. This is our, our 15 second break. So as soon as you hear that walk again, we're going to roll up. So set up. Come to the full length of your mat here. Take your arms straight back behind you. Hard flex your feet. Start coming up bone by bone. First one's always the challenge. Reach, lengthen. You got restacking your spine here. And then we start coming down. Low back, mid back, upper back. Reach and lengthen. Hard flex of the feet. Stabilize the pelvis. Pull those abdominals in. Reach, lengthen. You're going over a beach ball here. And then let's restack our spine, coming all the way back down. So we're doing these for a full minute too. So when you hear that buzz, don't stop. We got 15 seconds to all of it. Breathe through them. Reach and lengthen. Restack your spine, coming down bone by bone, as slow as you can go. Reach and lengthen, ears and line with the biceps. Pull those abdominals in, rise up, reach. Secret is really flex out those feet and press those heels to the ground. Come down with the control. And once you get there, we stay here. 
So you're going to go ahead, take those legs straight up in the air. Take them up in the air. You're holding, you're reaching towards the toes. So either modified position, you got like legs up the wall. It's really good detox. You stay right here. Otherwise, more Pilates, we keep moving. So we keep moving, we're working our core. If you need to support the back of the head, you've got tiny little crunches. But we are here again for a full minute. So not 45 seconds, full minute. Taking full advantage of this detox here. So breathe through them. Really good for circulation. If you hate planks, do these every day. So good for you. Holding it up at the top like this is called dead bug. You can do that every day. Get all the benefits without the stress on the joints. So curling it up here. You got these. After these 15 seconds, we're rolling right into a bridge, so no break. Soles of the feet come down. You're going to go ahead and grab your hand weights if you want them. Completely optional here. You're going to lift up to your best bridge. If you're taking arms with you, hold them up at the top. And now you're going down and up. So let's say about halfway down and press right back up. So breathe through these. Halfway down, come up to your knee, hip, shoulder height, and then halfway down. And I know these are hard when you really can't see yourself, but really try to get that streamline. Knee, hip, shoulder, and then of course if you feel anything in the low back, you're going too high, we don't want to arch. So lowering and lifting. We've got 12 more seconds, and then we are holding our bridge up at the top. Next time you hear the buzzer, hold. Hold right here. You got chest press. You got chest press. So I am moving my head, something you shouldn't be doing. So just try and listen to my cues here. I'm just trying to watch the clock. Keep the hips up. Abs are engaged. You got these. I'm going to try and not look at that clock. I'm going to guess that we've got about 25 seconds to go. Pull those abs in. Breathe through them, press those elbows down, lift right back up. You got these, I know. If you're really starting to bother you, you're gonna let your hips come down and continue on with the upper body. We are almost coming down. Hopefully you're gonna just do the dip that keeps giving. You're gonna feel these small. Palms face each other, come down. Let it go, arms to a T. We got 15, or eight seconds left to go here. Taking your knees from side to side. Breathe through them. Our next one, table pop the legs. Lift up head, neck, and shoulders here. Head, neck, and shoulders, you got a small bicep curl. If this does not feel okay, soles of the feet come down, head comes down, this is your position, turn palms inward, your choice. But in order to stay out of that neck, you have to come into this abdominal curl where your shoulder blades are off the mat and your gaze is between your legs. If you're looking up your ceiling, wrong form, you're gonna really start to feel those in your neck. So avoid that. Always look right between your legs. Don't look up at the ceiling. And then if you need to, let the hand waves go. You got these. Last three seconds, and then we come right back to a bridge. Go ahead and let it go. So our next one, hold up in that bridge. When that buzzer beats again, we're going to start with movement. So arms will go straight up in the air this time. You're going to press them out, bring them in, dip down. Press out, bring them in, one dip down. This is our last round of bridge. So try and stay with me. If you need to scale back, take the arms out of it. Take the bridge out of it, whatever you need to. If Karen's watching right now, she might be killing me. She told me no bridges today. Got to stick them in there somehow. So press those hips down, lift right back up. Breathe through them. Out, and then lowering right back down. Pull those abs in. We're almost there. It's our last set of bridge. I promise you won't see any more today. Not going to sneak any more in there. Might be feeling these, though. All right, let it go. Surrender. Let the knees fan to the one side. Hand weights just rest on your chest. Time to check. We've got 20 minutes of class. Take it off to the other side. So we're going to give our hand weights a little bit of a break. We're coming into our series five. You got it. 
Single leg stretch, 45 seconds. 15 seconds off. So that'll be your break. When you hear that buzzer, let your head down your shoulders have the break it wants. Maybe hug the knees into the chest if that's what you need in between each set. But it, the sets will go by pretty fast because even though 15 seconds when you're breaking, it seems like one second, right? That's how it goes. And the work feels like two minutes. Just kidding. You guys feel good, right? All right, hope you guys are feeling nice and strong. We only have, see, we're almost done. Eight seconds to go. You can got these. And we are almost in that stretch. And let it go. So hug the knees and let your head go. Next time you hear that, we got double leg stretch. So quick breather. Rock from side to side. Massage your back. Enjoy this nice big break. It's longer than we usually get, right? We curl to our tight ball. Reach and lengthen. Grass out. If you need a modified version, maybe you're just doing upper body. Maybe you're just doing lower body. It's always better to do something that you can stay in it than to take a full recovery. So if you can, try to not take a full 45 seconds off. Do something that allows you to stay moving. We got these. See, we're almost there. Breathe through them. You can write me in the, in the messages, tell me which one of the five from the series five is your least favorite. Which one is the hardest to stay in for 45 seconds? This one for sure seems like it is. <laughs> and we're rocking from side to side. You guys got a break. Enjoy it. The next one is our straight leg single leg stretch. This one is a dream. I wish we could do this one for the rest of the time. Go ahead, bring it. Grab from behind the calf or the hamstring. Point through the toes, get light through the legs. We're gonna point. Breathe through these. Inhale, exhale. Point through the toes, get light through the legs. If you need to, slow it down. Maybe you're getting a pull, pull. Maybe you're getting a little bit more of a stretch. So do something that feels good to you. Maybe you need to support the back of the head. So any variation of your single leg stretch, that speaks to you today. If your head is bothering you, let her kick it up at the top. Lots of options. Do what you can. Keep the breath flowing. It's there to help you. Last two. Bring it in. 15 second break. You got these. The next one is our double leg lower lip straight legs. So we'll start with our legs straight up in the air. When you hear that buzzer, we start lowering down. Maybe heels together, toes apart, and then the V, and you're lowering and lifting. If you need to, go ahead and sit on the hands if this one's a challenge for you. Maybe flex to lower, point to lift, or hands are just by your side, making range of motion smaller. I know without sitting on my hands, I like to keep it smaller at the top, this way I know I'm standing in my core, out of my low back, I'm not arching. Breathe through them. It's still equally challenging. Those below the belly button abs, we're attacking them. And then you can point and flex if you have that in your practice. You got these. Last six seconds, and then we get to take a break before we come into our final one. We'll be crisscross. Hug it in. So rock from side to side. Quick break. And then we set up for crisscross. First level crisscross, feel free, feet can go down. You would be right here. And let's get started. So this is your first level. Next level, you're in tabletop. Most advanced, you bring the opposite shoulder over to the opposite knee while extension of the leg. Pelvis still really stabilized here, so pull those abs in. Breathe through these. Hope you guys are feeling them. So breathe through them. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. When you come out of this one, our stretch. We're gonna butterfly the soles of our feet and keep our head down and just enjoy that stretch when you hear the buzzer because we only have about 15 seconds and then we gotta get grind right into it. Go ahead, soles of feet come down. You got this nice butterfly stretch. So breathe through them. Inhale through the nose. Exhale the mouth. Take your full break because we are coming into the hundred. Little rough spot for it. All right, soles and feet come up. 
pump. Pump the arms really hard. If you want to take it out, you're going to take it out here today with the legs long and straight with the feet down on the ground with your toes and lift one leg up. So breathe through them. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. You got these. Inhale, exhales. Breathe through them. Bring that foot down. Lift the other leg if you're in this version. If not, you're just pumping the arms in any version of 100 that you've learned and you like. So breathe through these. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. You got them. Ease up those toes. Breathe through them. Almost there. Let it go. Surrender. You're going to go ahead to your side lateral stretch. Just stretch it out from side to side here. Side body stretch. And then when you hear the buzzer, we're coming right into our setting up for our side plank. So in our side forearm plank here, take one hand weight with you, lift up, arm goes straight up in the air. We're holding it here. We're holding, hold that weight, and then if you want to add on, we just take the hip down an inch, up an inch, maybe not even see it, that's how small it is. So you're working the love handles, working that side body. You got it. So breathe through these. Almost there, I know, it feels like forever, but our sideline sequence will be rather short since we, our reps are so long. We're almost there. You got this. The sweat's pouring now. Go ahead and bring it down, let it go. So our next one, bring that, ball, bring that, uh, I was gonna say ball, bring that weight right behind the knee and now line your knees up so your feet won't line up or your knees will. Go ahead and lift and lower from here. So we're here for a full minute. Full minute, pull those abs in. If you want to advance, come up off your side body if you like, or a little bit more advanced is keeping it really close to the ground. So do what works for you. You can be totally melted to the ground. You can be in that high position, lifted, or that mid range, and that's gonna give you the most advanced position. Pull those abs in, breathe through these, Oh yeah, I'm feeling these. Only lift up to about knee height, maybe more advanced. Tap all the way down to that knee and lift right back up to just hip height. We got these. Last five seconds, hang with me, and then the recovery is our setup for our next position. Let it go, extension of both legs. So extension of both legs, we're staying lifted in our side body. The hand is down for support. We got our T-Rex crunch. So when you're ready, this is what it's going to look like when you hear that buzzer. Pull the abs in. Let's go. Bring those heels to your seat. Keep your side body off. Keep your hips stacked. I know these are tough. We're almost there. This is the last one of our sequence on this side. You got these. Hang in there. Quick breather. Hug it in. So heels come to your seat. And then you've got this extension right back out. We got it. You got these. Hang strong. You got it. Last five seconds. And then we roll to our belly. Go ahead and take it there. So we're setting up for our extension work here. We're rolling right to our belly. Arms are long and straight here. When you do that buzzer, everything is going to lift up. So pull those abs in and lift. Hold everything here, open and close. Out an inch, in an inch. Too much, lower body goes down, or maybe just upper body goes down, and you hold from here. So do something that works for you, otherwise you're just out an inch, in an inch. Belly bends is fine, pelvis firmly into your mat. Gaze is down. Thighs slightly lifted. You feel your low back. Bring your legs down. You got these. Oh, we're almost there. You guys, hang tough. We got 10 seconds to go. Open and close. Reach, lengthen. You're trying to touch both sides of the room. Breathe. You're strong. Last set. Go ahead and let it go. Surrender. Bring your hands by your side and just sway your hips from side to side. You got eight seconds of these. Nice, yummy break. I know, but we are almost through this workout, so don't quit now. You guys got these. Go ahead, bring those hands back. Hold everything up. Take your arms out. Bring them in. Take them out with palms up. Bring them in. Gaze is down. Head in line with the spine. Thumb to your side. Palms are up. Abs are in. 
Breathe through them. It's almost like a reverse snow angel here. Breathe. Only open out to the upside down V and bring it right back in. Pull those abs in. You got it. Hang with me. Reach to those fingertips. Thighs are lifted off your mat. Gaze is down. Hope you guys are okay with these. We're almost through them. It's our last set of extension. And go ahead and let go. You got child's pose for 10 seconds. And then our head is going to the, you guys could just flip to the other side, but I'm gonna move my head over to the other direction to face the camera. So we have that side body again. So we have side body plank. We're stacked, we're lifted, abs engaged. You hold at the top. Hold. So pull those abs in. Too much? Ditch the weight or bring your bottom knee down. Holding here, we got these. If you add on with that small press up, one inch, you're coming back to that love handle move. I know, these are killer. But you guys are strong, you're tough, you're hanging in there, you're doing the workout, you're putting the time in. We only have eight more minutes to go to this class and you are a hero today. Breathe, we're almost done. Go ahead and bring it down, let it go. Ooh, those are tough. All right, we got clam. So tuck that weight behind your knee, make sure you hug it tight, heel to your seat so you don't drop it on top of the other leg. I can't see any other grip, I'm too sweaty. And now from here we lift, keep knee in line with knee and lift. Our feet won't line up since our heel's so close to our seat, unless you really want to tuck it in as well, the bottom leg. If you took it to that lifted position, come back to that. Maybe you're in that halfway, or maybe you're completely surrendering down. And now make it harder, tap knee to knee, lift right back up to that hip height. So breathing through these, you got them. Pull those abs in, stay strong. Pressing up. So breathing through these. These are a little bit longer. Abs are in a little bit deeper. We're almost there. Five seconds and we come into that TRX crunch. We put the hand weight down. So we're just gonna release for our setup. Legs are gonna go long and straight. And then we hold here, the hand comes out in front. We find our side body, stack body, slightly lifted off the floor. Press that palm in, you got it. You got your side body crunch. Keep toes together, knees together. Breathe through the knees, you're going in and out. Oh yeah, I feel these. These are really challenging. Just as challenging as doing them in TRX. These just don't get easy. If you need, let the bottom leg stay down. Breathe through them. Just work the top leg. That's your modified version. Pull those abs in. Breathe. I know. We like to hold our breath when things get tough, but we're going to make sure it's flowing and it's there to make our workout go by a little bit quicker. We are almost through the worst of it. You guys got these. And let it go, surrender. You got a child's pose. So just turn, palms are down. Last six minutes of class, you got this. When you hear that buzzer, we are setting up for our push-ups. So we're gonna just go ahead from here, we're gonna take our balance push-ups because we're gonna hang in them for two sets and they're longer. Pull those elbows in. You got your balance challenge, modified position, both knees are down on your angle if you need it. So take it where you need to go. Breathe for these, pull those elbows in. So I love doing these, I love them in mat, I love them in the studio. You know, if you come to my classes that I do these all the time, love them. So breathe through them. So inhale the nose. Exhale, come out. The next one, when you hear that buzzer, you're holding at the bottom. We're just going to do five seconds of presses. Hold at the bottom, deepest position, hard flex, press it up. You got it for five, four, three, two, one. Reset. Scooping those abs. Got five seconds to recovery. We're going right into the other side. All right. Take that leg out. You got it. Same thing. You got the push ups. You got your push up, pull those elbows in. Hope you guys are getting sweaty. I'm feeling it. It's getting really steamy up in here. You got these. 
engage. Try and stay square. Try not lean. Try not vibrate. Oh, my arms are going to be tired today. Pressing down, lifting right back up. Okay, last eight seconds, guys. And then when you hit that buzzer, you hold it at the bottom, and we do those five seconds of pressing. Just five, so that you have a few seconds to recover. Hold, and then press up. So pressing up, pull those abs in, you got these. So breathing through them, press up, oh yeah, and let it go. Take it to your child's pose. Forearm plank, so elbows are down, go ahead. You have this forearm plank, pull those abs in, heavy tailbone. Abs are in, and now lower down from one hip, and then the other, really small. If you feel your low back, you're not doing that. You're keeping your knees down on the angle or just holding your plank. Otherwise, little typewriter hips. One hip comes down, then the other. Without arching. Oh, we got these. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to see the messages about this after. <laughs> Pull those abs in, you guys. You got these. We only have three minutes of class. Stay with me. This is your last plank of the day. Let it go. Take your towels pose. Stretch it out. Okay. Last three minutes, so we're flipping around here. So flip around. Grab your weights one more time. Take your flat back. Curl it in. Curl it out. Curl it in. Curl it out. Flat back. Abs are in. You got these. Curling in. Curling out. Inhale. Exhale. Hey, Sylvia. Sorry, I was going. <laughs> on the clock, so I haven't really been getting up to check that phone too much. All I see is the screen is on, and I haven't lost power today. Pretty much a miracle. So breathe with that. Curl it in, curl it out. Oh, yeah. Last 15 seconds. Hold your tabletop. We have press-ups for just 15 seconds. And then you get to take a break. So press up. Pull those abs in. Stay with me. You got it. Breathe through them. Let it go. Hand weights come down. The next one, our hands are right back. Our fingertips are facing forward. You're going to come into side crunches. So you're leaning on the one glute, and you're crunching it out. So crunching it out. So I went before the clock because we're doing 30 seconds on each side, not 45 on each, because i got to throw in a couple more things there. Pull those abs in, guys. Stay with me. Five seconds, and we switch sides. And switch, same thing. So definitely feeling these in the obliques. They should feel like your side body work. Breathe through them. And the hardest part of these is keeping the knees sealed. They want to separate. Toes, heels, knees sealed. Pull those abs in. Oh yeah, last 10 seconds. You got it. We only have one more hard move, guys, so stay with me. The workout's almost done. You got a spine stretch here. Legs are long and straight. 10 seconds. And then we're coming down bone by bone here. We're just finishing out with teasers, as I promised. So bring our arms long and straight back behind you. First teaser, come up modified way. Don't have them, do mini roll ups. So you can be just here. If you're going for the full version, you're coming up and you're lowering down control. We only doing these for one minute, guys. So you're coming down. Doesn't matter how many we put in there. They are so hard when they're done so slow. <laughs> oh yeah, and at the end of the workout, nothing like it, right? Accountability. Always fun to have a hard one at the end. Sweep, bring it up, and lower all the way back down. Guys, you're gonna give me one last one here, your best one of the day. Pull those abs in. When you get up to the top, hold here. Row it out for your last 10 seconds. We got these, and then we'll finish out with a nice straddle stretch. Breathe through them. Last four, three, two, and get, let it go. So bring one leg out, the other one in. So we're going for our wide one today. Hand comes out in front, you got your side body stretch. You guys did it. Thanks for hanging in there. I like to do these different workouts as a way to stay motivated at home when you don't have much equipment. It's fun, but if you feel like you need a little more, 
Pilates routine. There are so many videos on the camera now, on our Facebook page, that you can just kind of go back and maybe you need a stretch day or just a slower mat day, and those videos are up there for you. Or also vice versa, maybe coming into this one when you need a little bit more of a push. So we'll bring our foot down, hand comes out in front, you're keeping the six bones down. Here in line with bicep. So you're leaning, but treating it like a mermaid. So we have our glutes down, we're not allowing our body to migrate over, we're just getting opening up between that last rib and hip here. Sorry, the buzzer is still going off, I'm not timing our stretches. And then we're gonna just come forward on that leg. Rise back up, so soles of the feet come together. You can butterfly them if you like. Maybe use your elbows to press down. Nice inner thigh stretch. Close the legs like a book. 